Health and Only Mode. Good morning, everyone. Scott Earhart here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. My apologies uh, for the delay in getting started this morning. Had a couple technical difficulties, but uh, we do uh, do seem to be up and running now. So thank you all very, very much uh, for taking time out of your busy days to join us. We certainly do appreciate that. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with what you're going to see today. We are going to look at some... Uh, very, very competitive product that we um, distribute with uh, AIG American General through Market Synergy Group that we are a founding member of. In order to go through these products, we are lucky enough to have Market Synergy Group's VP of Sales, Mr. Jared Anderson, on the line with us. Jared, can you hear us? Yep, I can hear you, man. Fantastic. Jared, thank you so much for taking time uh, out of your day to join us. A uh, couple of housekeeping items before we get started, and then I will hand it over to Jared. Our phone number is on the top left hand of your screen. That number is 800 255 50 Five, five. If there's anything that we can be doing to help you grow your business in the life or fixed annuity markets, please do not hesitate to give us a call. We absolutely want to be helping you. Second housekeeping item, I will launch a polling question or two uh, in the presentation today. Uh, if you would, please take the time to participate in those. We certainly do appreciate that. And then the third housekeeping item is the questions box. I'm sure there are going to be some questions uh, throughout the presentation today. Jared does a great job of making sure he answers everyone's questions. So please feel free to type them in uh, as we go through the presentation. Uh, we will answer those at the end of the session. couple of um, promotional slides before we hand it over to Jared. First is going to be for our Life and Annuity Academy. I'm going to launch our first poll of the day as I talk about this, asking you if you'd like more information. Our final academy of the year uh, is actually happening next week, but we are um, actively looking for individuals for next year. We will uh, hold at probably four life and annuity academies throughout uh, 2017. Uh, in these life and annuity academies, we pay all of your expenses. We bring in presenters from around the country. We bring in presenters from carriers as well as other um, other top producers in the field to show you what they're doing in their practices. So very, very good way to uh, get some new sales and marketing ideas. Also a good way to learn uh, about some things here at IMS that we can do that you may not be aware of. So uh, the reason why the polling question is up is if you're interested in receiving more information, all you have to do is click yes. We'll send you out a, a previous agenda and put you on the interested parties list so that when we do get around to invitation time and get uh, some scheduled uh, times and dates and locations in 2017, you will be the first to know about that. That being said, uh, I'm going to close down this poll. So if you haven't taken the time to just click yes or no, if you would please do so, we certainly appreciate everyone's participation in the poll. All right, that is closed. Thank you, everyone. Uh, one thing I do want to make sure that you all are very aware of that is available to IMS licensed producers is access to IMS Creative or IMS Creative Services. Matt Neal heads up our creative services team, and uh, there's a lot of things that we can do for you as far as uh, marketing and brand building that we can save you a lot of money compared to uh, traditional advertising or PR firms out there. So IMS Creative Services are available to all of our licensed agents. If you'd like uh, more detail on what we can do for you and how we go about doing that, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Ask for Matt Neal. He is here in office with us every day, and he and his team do a great job. For those of you who are new to IMS, or if this is your first introduction to insurance agency marketing services, we do have our new producer bonus or our fast start bonus. Uh, you can see there are three levels that you can qualify at. You can cash in at any time at any one of these three levels, and we do have great things uh, available at each level, cash rewards, uh, business billing building tools, personal perks, all available to you. If you'd like to know where you stand or what we can be doing to help you, make that step up to the next level and get what you're actually looking for. Uh, certainly love to have that conversation with you as well. 
One of my favorite slides in any presentation that we have, uh, this is all about putting money back into your pocket. On the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see marketing reimbursement. Rough numbers on marketing reimbursement is for every $100,000 in indexed annuity premium you place through IMS, we will put $200 into your marketing reimbursement account. We consider that to be your money. Uh, we will let you grow that account as large as you would like to. We will also let you uh, use pretty much any vendor you'd like uh, for your marketing. All we ask is that you purchase the marketing, send us a receipt, and we'll cut you a check hopefully that same day uh, to get that expense offset for you. If you'd like to know how much uh, is in your marketing reimbursement account currently, or if you'd like more details, go into it uh, in, in a little more depth, please let me know. Certainly love to have that conversation with you as well. Uh, on the left-hand side, referred producer program, our business on the wholesale end is eerily, eerily similar to yours um, out there in the field. One of the best leads we're ever going to receive is a referral from one of our valued clients, you, our valued producers. So we want to make it worth your while. When you refer a producer over to us and they choose to license with IMS, we're going to give you a check for $50 just as a thank you. They don't have to write any business. Now where the real money comes in, is uh, as you do write business or your referral rights business, we're going to give you a 20 basis point override on that. We cut those checks at least quarterly. And I can tell you right now, there is no check that Steve or Charles would rather sign than a referred producer check because that means you entrusted us. And that means a lot to us. If you have any ref any producers you would like to refer over, if you think IMS can help them grow their business, please feel free to type their name and any contact information you have on them or for them into the questions box. I'll do the best I can to get them referred over and hopefully help you to start getting some RPM checks. I know that we are talking about fixed indexed annuities today, uh, but I do want to talk about a, a pretty poignant um, poignant uh, product in the uh, in the market today an annuity alternative single premium life um, we have seen our largest growth sector uh, in our business over the last couple of years has been single premium life and there's uh, a lot of different reasons for it we'll go through a few of them I'm gonna launch our second poll of the day here and all I'm going to ask you is if you'd have interest in an annuity alternative of single premium life if you click yes what will happen is someone from our life marketing staff Mark Raymaker, Sandy Vacanti, Marcus Solar will reach out to you to have a conversation uh, with a little more specifics about it but the reason why single premium life is such a large growth sector for us is Anyone that's an annuity, an annuity producer has that annuity they put on the books seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, and your client told you, "I'm gonna need, I'm going to need income from this." And here we are down the road, and they're not taking income. They don't need income. They don't want the income, and that annuity is just sitting there. That annuity is actually what I call a dead asset. Um, it is not doing really anything for the owner of that annuity. It is not going to be uh, really all as beneficial as it could be for the beneficiary of that annuity. And it certainly more than likely isn't paying you uh, any more commission. Single premium life uh, can alleviate a lot of that. Uh, it can certainly take those dollars and put it back to work for the owner of it and making it a tax-free death benefit for their beneficiaries because now they want to leave a legacy. They can do it in a much more efficient manner. They can still have access to cash value, uh, possibly get some enhancements uh, for uh, long-term care needs uh, could be uh, could be available for the beneficiary. Obviously, it's going to come to them tax-free, so that's going to be a significant improvement uh, to some things. Uh, that could have happened and then for you the producer it will generate a new commission so uh, taking a dead asset putting it back to work for pretty much everybody that's involved in an insurance policy with that being said I'm going to close down this poll and move on if you haven't taken the time to click yes or no if you would do so uh, again we do certainly appreciate everyone's participation there
Okay, that poll is closed. Oh, and that brings me to the end of my promotional slides. Jared, I am going to hand it over to you if that's acceptable, sir. Sounds great. And you should have control now, bud. All right, can you see my screen? I can see your screen. Perfect. Well, we'll just dig into it and get started right now. Uh, thank you, Scott, and thank you all for taking the time out of your schedule. As Scott mentioned, uh, my name is Jared Anderson with Market Synergy Group. Uh, what we want to do this morning is quickly go through with you uh, the product featurings brought to you by Market Synergy Group and AIG. Um, what you see on the screen is, is GPA, which is kind of a phrase, if you will, that we throw around in our office here. Um, part of our development, part of our design from the very beginning was to try and cover every aspect of the, the index annuity uh, arena, if you will. Um, we feel like they're actually bought in three different spaces, whether that be guaranteed income, participating income, or accumulation opportunities. And we'll talk briefly about all three of those different scenarios here this morning. Um, it's really our bread and butter. It's what we focus on. Um, and we've got some really competitive products from an A-plus rated carrier and AIG. So really when we talk about those three different areas in which the annuities uh, are bought, um, the Power Select Plus income is our income generating product, whether that be performance based or guaranteed. And we'll talk about both different features which are unique to the industry and certainly gaining a lot of uh, traction as you can imagine. Um, you know, Second quarter numbers were just released a few weeks ago and AIG is the, actually the number one provider of annuities in the United States at just under $10 billion. Now that includes variable, fixed, index, all three of those, but they're certainly a company that has got a big appetite for this industry and looking to continue to grow uh, throughout the next several years and we're fortunate enough to be part of that. Uh, the Power Select Builder is a very simple, basic accumulation type of a product that we've seen a tremendous amount of sales in. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the simpler, the better for the consumer. Um, great crediting strategies, great crediting offerings with the MLSB strategy, which we'll talk about here in a moment as well. Uh, but really focusing on that, you know, simple, safe accumulation product that I think a lot of people out there are looking for. Uh, income riders tend to be uh, very competitive in the sales arena and what we see uh, you know throughout the year a lot of these different products are going to have income rider options available on them uh, we've taken a different approach we've looked at this and said the power select builder is great for accumulation if you don't need an income rider uh, why not put your client into something that has that accumulation opportunity doesn't necessarily have an income rider fee and gives you the ability to utilize free withdrawals uh, as we all know, we're in an all-time low from an interest rate environment standpoint. And quite honestly, we feel as our industry continues to innovate and develop additional uh, additional products down the road that we feel five, six, seven, eight years from now, we're going to have better options available for your consumers. So those who don't necessarily need a guaranteed income right away, this is the area where we've seen uh, a tremendous amount of business. So just to uh, share some statistics with you, which I'm sure most of you have already seen, uh, but it's important for us to point out 10,000 baby boomers are turning 65 every day for the so the opportunity uh, for your advice is endless I mean the amount of individuals that you have at your fingertips who are looking for retirement advice is huge and then obviously a 50% chance that one of the uh, one of the in a married couple 50% chance that one of them will live beyond the age of 92 so this is where guaranteed income becomes important for consumers and uh, the people that you're meeting on a regular basis so again just going back to the product features we have available the builder with the accumulation and the power select plus income with income generating opportunities the way it currently sets the power select series has a 5% premium enhancement on any premiums over $100,000, so it gives an opportunity for a boost in the very beginning for both income and accumulation purposes. As I mentioned, we'll go back to slide. It does offer two guaranteed benefit riders um, for secured income, and we'll talk about both of those individually. You know, again, just to point out some stuff that you're already fully aware of, uh, protection of downside risk and safety is why why consumers are purchasing our products. Uh, that's what they're looking for, and uh, certainly, obviously, that's something that we have to offer with them. I mentioned this earlier: five percent premium bonus on anything over a hundred thousand. It's two percent for anything under. Contact your marketer at IMS. There are seven states that do not allow for MVA, so those numbers are four and one. 
not sure if you're in those states, but you can certainly contact IMS and they'd be able to tell you in, a, in just a moment of time. Crediting strategies available on the products are the same across the board. Uh, S&P strategies are annual point to point. Uh, there's a participation rate, monthly point to point as well as monthly average. And really the MLSB is where we've seen the, the majority of our business going. Um, and we'll talk briefly about that specific strategy and how it works and why we think it's important for you to point this out to your clients. Year to date, that strategy is up 7.88%, which is very, very competitive in this interest rate environment. Just an example there, uh, we're gonna skip through this. But talking about that MLSB strategy, the design behind the MLSB strategy is simple. We're looking for consistent returns throughout the term of the contract. What we have up on the screen here is the S&P over the last 20 years, averaging 10%, obviously with those down years, taking, taking those into consideration, it makes the number substantially less. <clears throat> when comparing that to the MLSB strategy, uh, simply 2% lower over the same 20 year time frame from an average annual return. So again, from a safe accumulation standpoint, this is a very, very competitive crediting option. And we'll talk about that into detail here in just a moment. Again, going back to the product, the Power Select Builder it is, is really driven by the MLSB strategy. Uh, you know, some of the things that we like to point out one of the things that I mentioned earlier is we feel that the innovative industry that we are all in today will continue to grow, continue to be innovative, and have better products available, for lack of a better term. And, and, and to point that out, we just show you uh, innovation over the last 10 years when we think about GPS being first available in 2005, as well as Facebook and its billions of members, uh, YouTube, Twitter, iPhone, all of those things have happened within the last 10 years. And we all know what that's done to our lives, how that's affected our lives, and we live in an innovative world, and we don't expect our industry to be any different. And then a history of a quick history of the FIA market to help you understand, again, why we think we're going to continue to grow in this industry. Back in 1995, the first FIA introduced with Keyport Sun Live actually had a five-year point-to-point strategy on it. Uh, in 99, they hit a whopping $5 billion in total sales. You can see all the things up there. I remember in 2006 when the first guaranteed living withdrawal benefits were introduced on FIAs and things were added in, you know, $54 billion industry in 2015. So again, if we were to fast forward and look into the crystal ball that everybody wishes they had, we think that five, 10 years from now, we're going to have an incredibly, incredibly innovative industry. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to get some interest rate help, get more innovative in the products that we design, and maybe for those individuals who aren't necessarily looking for a guaranteed income, we have solutions for them down the road. Just pointing out our, our interest rate problems, if you will, looking back, these are some older numbers, but uh, you get the point here. Going back 20 years, the 10-year treasury was over 6.5%. Even 10 years ago, it was over 5 And then as of April 1st, it was 178 When I checked this morning, I think it was 154 So carriers are getting more and more, they're having more and more difficulties in trying to price products because as we all know, insurance carriers are not non-for-profit organizations. Uh, they have to make money as well. So the key is how can we provide the consumer with something that gives them the ability to earn while not losing our shorts, for lack of a better term. And in this interest rate environment, it becomes very, very difficult, as you're all well aware by the recent changes that have taken place in our industry with the existing products that are out there. Um, you know, it's happened to five, six, seven, eight carriers. I don't even know the number at this point, but uh, pretty common when interest rates get that low. Uh, unfortunately, that's the hand we're dealt, and uh, we're, we have to continue to try and be innovative and give these consumers the opportunity to have the ability to earn, and, and that's exactly what we do to help. So just to briefly touch on the MLSB strategy, I really like this crediting uh, strategy. I think Scott would agree with me. Uh, what we tried to accomplish with this and what AIG tried to accomplish with this really is a combination of things. Uh, simplicity and, as I mentioned earlier, consistent performance throughout the term of the contract. Uh, it's a there it is. It's a rule-based approach to blend equity and fixed income indices. So it's two indices, the S&P 500 without dividends and the Merrill Lynch 10-year Treasury futures total return. Okay. Um, three different features. So there's really three different asset classes. You have S&P, you have 
uh, your fixed income asset class and the treasury futures, and then it's controlled in and out of cash and, and can change on a daily basis. It is rule-based. Merrill Lynch is the creator behind that. That's what the ML stands for. Uh, so they control the rule book, and they don't allow us to take a look or take a peek into how it exactly works. Um, but it is a rule-based index, so there's not an individual making decisions on a daily basis. It's if this happens, we move this direction. So it's controlled through volatility with dynamic allocation. So I pointed out the 20-year history, as you can see here. In the blue is the S&P 500 returns, and in the orange is the MLSB returns. Uh, so again, what we're trying to accomplish is consistent returns throughout the term of the retirement, and this shows you exactly how that works. So as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, combining rules-based indexing with volatility control and the dynamic allocation. Currently, as we said today, there's around 25% S&P and 75% into the Treasury futures. Uh, with that being said, there are some features available on this that give us the ability uh, to leverage up to 150% on that combination. So essentially what that would, would mean is we would have 50% participation into the S&P with 100% into the Treasury futures. When we do that full leveraging, it goes 50% negative into cash. Uh, I know that's a lot of information to gather, but what I would ask is that you call your marketer at IMS to get more details. Uh, so 50% negative into cash, we pay three-month LIBOR rates, and essentially that happens and gives us the opportunity to participate heavier into the S&P and the Treasury futures when the time is right. It goes back to the rule-based piece of it. And as I mentioned to you earlier, year-to-date, the strategy is up 7.88%. So great returns throughout the year, very competitive, and looking for those consistencies throughout the 10-year term of the contract. So again, that's where we've seen the majority of our sales uh, from the builder standpoint with that specific crediting strategy that we've had a lot of success with. Uh, now what we want to do is talk to you a little bit about our power select plus income with our two different rider options. The first would be the lifetime income plus, and this is our bread and butter. This is what we started back with our company back in January, uh, in uh, January of 2014. First products were written in March when we established but it's very competitive and really designed around early income. Uh, and there's a strategy behind that. Early income is where consumers are utilizing these types of income riders. NAFA research will tell us that income riders are turned on in two years and six months. Okay, so how can we be most competitive in that area? And that's exactly what we did with the design. A couple unique features that we have that you won't see on any other products in the industry today, which kind of sets us apart from the rest of our competition, is the guaranteed rising income or the keep the difference, as well as the doubling feature that's available on there as well. 6.5% um, simple interest for 10 years uh, doesn't scream at you, I understand, but when we show you the keep the difference feature, you'll understand how it works and why it works and why it's so competitive, and that's what we'll go through here. Keep the difference is a unique feature, as I mentioned. Uh, specifically to the AIG product line. Um, so the example I have up on the screen for you here is a 65-year-old taking income. As I mentioned earlier, it's 6.5% simple interest for the first 10 years of the contract. In this scenario, a 65-year-old taking income immediately is guaranteed a 5% maximum annual withdrawal percentage. So as I, as I said, 65 for 10 years, if we use 5, we keep 1.5 and, and credit that back to the income base. So what this does, it creates a solution for us to have a guaranteed rise in income for the first 10 years of the contract term. Using a $100,000 example, um, at age 65, taking income immediately, which you have the ability to do with this product within 30 days of issue, you start at 5250 Again, this is using a $100,000 example, and ultimately grow to 6038 So the highest in the industry that I'm aware of is around fifty five to 5600 so this feature allows us to maybe start a little bit lower, but guarantee us that we're going to grow to pass that and ultimately provide more cumulative income throughout the retirement term for that client. So picture this, a 65-year-old retires, they're ready to take income. We can provide them with a guaranteed number that's guaranteed to rise for the next 10 years. And the way that we look at it is the first 10 years of retirement are the most important. That's when you're traveling, visiting grandkids, doing all the things that you want to do as you retire. After that, you tend to slow down a little bit. So giving them a raise for the first 10 years is crucial, and it's very unique in our industry, and it's something that nobody else has the ability to do. So that's where we've seen a tremendous amount of sales from a guaranteed income standpoint. 
The other is if you do any laddering planning. Um, one of the features on the product is that it has the ability to double if you hold it for the full 10 years of the contract term. So $100,000 with the premium bonus becomes 210. In this example, if you were 55 and you did $100,000, we would guarantee you 10,500 for life. Now I know on 10-year deferrals, that's the best in the industry right now. Uh, so very competitive for that as well. What I'll tell you is the areas that were not most competitive is anywhere from five to nine years of deferral. Uh, quite honestly, there's other carriers out there that are providing higher guaranteed income numbers. What we can tell you is in the first four to five years, we're extremely competitive and in most situations will win a lot of those sales. Uh, and then at the 10th year as well. So anytime you're doing any laddering planning and have a portion of the assets that are looking for at least 10 years of deferral to maybe get them to the next uh, to the next social security age, a 60 year old defer until 70, whatever the case may be, there's opportunities around income planning that this product provides that nobody else has. So very, very competitive area there as well. Just to point out our payout factors, as you can see on the screen at age 65, we knew we needed to be most competitive. You can see it's 5% there. And a simple 50 basis point reduction in joint payout. So very competitive from that standpoint as well. So just to show you a quick client profile and where this potentially could work and how that keep the difference feature works. 60 year old client wanting to retire in five years, increase your retirement income and help supplement social security needs to grow uh, even after the withdrawals begin, giving her that raise. So as you can see here, for that first five years, we earn that 6.5% simple. For math and simplicity purposes, at age 65, we turn that income on. Well, we're still getting a 1.5% credit to that income base for the next five years. Okay, ultimately what that will do is give her 7,350 for life at age 70. And that number starts lower and then obviously grows to that number. So as you can see, it's very unique, very different. Not something that anybody else out there has. So this is where we've found to be you know, found ourselves to be in really competitive positions in regards to those consumers who are looking to, for a guaranteed rise in income. Okay, that was a quick overview on our guaranteed product. Um, understanding that our industry has kind of shifted to performance-based income, we knew that there was a need for that as well. So as of December of 2015, we launched the Lifetime Income Plus Multiplier. You know, not all consumers need a guarantee, although that's extremely important to a substantial amount of them. Some of them are willing to take a little bit more of a risk in order to get a higher return, if you will. So we have a performance-based income rider as well, and you choose one or the other on the Power Select Plus income, either guaranteed or performance-based. So the performance-based works very similarly to the guarantee. However, there's a few differences. Uh, there's a multiplier that applies during the deferral, you get 250% of whatever interest credit you receive, or two and a half times for simplicity purposes. Once you turn on income, you still have the ability to see that rise in income uh, with the adjusted multiplier of one and a half times whatever your crediting strategy may be. So show you a couple examples here. Let's make an assumption. Again, this is strictly an assumption that we get a 4% return on the interest credited rate within the strategy that we've selected. We'll say the MLSB, for example. We have the opportunity to take that times 2.5% or 250 to get a 10% credit to the income account, which is huge. Uh, so ultimately, in years in which we have uh, high numbers, whatever the case may be, the 788 that we're at year to date right now, uh, obviously we take out the spread. We're going to be higher than that 4% number, so we're going to get higher than a 10% credit to that, uh, to that income base. And that happens every year that we're in deferral. Once we take out in, or, or excuse me, once we elect to take income, we're showing a little bit higher number for simplicity purposes to show you exactly how this could work. A 6% credited rate times one and a half ultimately equals the nine that you see right here. Just like the guaranteed income rider product, you take away what you use and you keep the difference. We call this the keep the growth. So in this scenario, uh, with our interest credited rate of six, we get to multiply that by one and a half times. We've used five. We still get a 4% credit to our income account. And then we recalculate and have a new number that's guaranteed for life. So my suggestion to you is if you are interested in performance-based income is to think of a client where this may make sense and call your marketer at IMS and have them run you an illustration and take a look and see uh, how we compete and how we stack up. So just again, another client profile, 55-year-old wanting to retire in 10 years, uh, wants to protect the retirement income, uh, obtain another source of guaranteed income to supplement Social Security. Again, an area in which I think a lot of you are working, supplemental income. 
uh, income planning, if you will. So just a quick example, 5% premium enhancement, 3% credit receives a 7.5% credit to the income base. You know, obviously there's going to be zeros in there, so there's no credit. A 4 is a 10, 1, 2.5, so on and so forth. You can see what happens here for another 10. Once we elect to take income, we go to that adjusted multiplier of 1.5 times. You can still see a rise in that income number, which is very unique in our industry. So this is that same 65-year-old from the most recent illustration standpoint, starting at 8,794, growing to 9,844, uh, and can have the opportunity to continue to rise depending on performance in the product. So very unique, very different. Um, you know, quite honestly, uh, it's a little, a, a few more steps, if you will, than some of the other products that are out there, but it's from a competitive standpoint, shows very well, and then it's got a unique design to it as well. The important thing to point out, what you see in a lot of policies or what you see in a lot of products that are issued today, sure, we have the ability to see an increase in income. However, your client has to choose. Do you want 5000 to start and that's guaranteed for life, or do you want 4000 and again, this is just an example, do you want 4000 with the ability to grow? And we can illustrate to show you that it grows to 6000 7000 whatever the number may be. Ours is no different where we have the ability to start at the same number and still have that ability to grow, uh, this time depending on performance. So no reduction in payout factors, still 5% at age 65. Same thing applies for joint with a 50 basis point reduction. So very unique in its design, extremely competitive for those who maybe have a number that they're trying to reach but have the ability to have some flexibility uh, for potential performance-based income that ultimately will be higher than the number that they actually start with. So again, seen a lot of sales in this for early income scenarios as well. Maybe you've solved for a client's needs and they say, this is, you know, I need X amount of dollars for my retirement. Uh, you know, maybe that number, we'll, we'll use simple numbers as $5,000 a year, but they're willing they may be willing to take 45 at the start in order to see a potential increase, whatever the case may be. We have the ability, IMS has the ability to help you in that planning process as we point out to these consumers how we can potentially fill their need from a guaranteed income standpoint or from a performance-based income standpoint. So just a quick overview on the two different options, what we have available. Uh, the Lifetime Income Plus is our guaranteed income product and multiplier provides potential rising income based on performance. They're both guaranteed for life once you start income and that number can never go down as long as you don't take more than the uh, maximum annual withdrawal percentage. The uh, Lifetime Income Plus has a guaranteed income credit and then we utilize the multiplier uh, with the other option. The doubling feature only applies to the guaranteed income product. Um, income credit period for the uh, guaranteed product is 10 years. Uh, for the performance space, it goes up, up to age 95 or whenever the contract value equals zero. Uh, from all illustrations that I've ran, that's anywhere between 15 and 18 years that we have the ability to see a rise in income. 250% um, credit during the deferral stage, 150% uh, credit during the income stage. So those are the differences. We have the ability to you know, purchase the, the Power Select Plus income and then elect either income rider. Um, another thing that I'll point out is we've seen a lot of combination sales where a portion of the assets will go towards guarantees and a portion will go towards the performance space. We have the ability, IMS has the ability to work with you to come up with the solution that best fits your consumer needs. So please don't hesitate to call them. This is a very unique product feature with an A-plus rated carrier who happens to be the number one provider of annuities in the United States. So very unique feature. Uh, IMS is, as, as Scott mentioned in the beginning, uh, one of the one of the founders of Market Synergy Group. They are our partner. Looking forward to the opportunity to see some growth with them. And uh, we've got some great products out there, and hopefully they're products that will potentially fit into your business that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. Scott, I went kind of quick, but I think that gets the point across. We have the ability to uh, answer some questions if we need to. Um, so let's just open it up and see if there's any questions that I can potentially answer. You there, Scott? Scott? Well, I can't see the questions, guys. I don't hear Scott on the line. Um, sorry, so I, guess I must I have was... forgotten to unmute oh, you, Jared. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. I was talking away, and I had my thing muted. Uh, before I take back control, 
Um, I, I did have a question come in about the spreads. Do you happen to have the current rate slide available? Uh, I can certainly get it up, or you could potentially maybe send it over to them. What I'll tell you is the current caps and spreads on the guaranteed income product are are difficult, for lack of a better term. Now, from a multiplier standpoint on the performance-based product, they're much more competitive. And as an insurance company does their pricing, the more guarantees they provide you, the more difficult it becomes from a pricing perspective. So, Scott, if you don't mind, maybe we'll just send that caller uh, the rate sheets for both that, of them. That's perfect. I'll forward out the rate sheet to you as soon as we get off. Um, oh, good question here. Does the uh, bonus on the product count towards both the accumulated value and income account value, Jared? Yes, it does. Okay. So once once the, the product is purchased, the income bonus, uh, excuse me, the income account value and the accumulated value, again, for example, purposes on 100000 becomes 105 day one. Fantastic. And then I'm going to launch our final poll of the day as I ask the last question. And what we're going to ask you here is if you would uh, like to see more licensing or if you'd like contracting information uh, on the AIG products. Uh, if the answer, if you answer yes, we'll certainly get that emailed out to you here shortly. Um, and if, uh, yeah. Last question, Jared. I'm sure you probably knew this one was coming. Um, so answer it as you can. Um, commentary on the Department of Labor. Anything you'd like to say? I don't know what you're talking about. Fair enough. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, I, I would certainly, yeah, I, I'd be happy to, to comment on it with what I know. I mean, obviously, there's lawsuits that are taking place as we speak. Um, Market Synergy Group isn't named named plaintiff in one of the lawsuits. Uh, the hearing for that is September 21st. I'll share with you all public information that you have available at your fingertips. Ultimately, what we're trying to accomplish with our partners and our members is, you know, we look at the ruling and say that, uh, for lack of a better term, there was a backdoor transaction that took place prior to, you know, the launching of the rule back in April of this year. Um, our ultimate goal with our, our lawsuit is that, uh, Fixed annuities were to be in 8424, giving the insurance-only agent the ability to continue its business, and that's what we're focusing on. As I mentioned, September 21st is our hearing date. Quite honestly, nobody knows what the Department of Labor is thinking, what any of the judges are thinking, so unfortunately, it's just we're kind of in a wait-and-see hold pattern, if you will, but uh, we are certainly fighting for you. Um, we think that what they did was unfair to not only our industry, but uh, certainly the independent producers that are out there today and that's why uh, you know if you google our name you're going to see all the lawsuit information out there and what's taking place so hopefully we'll know more at the end of September um, I will be in the, the federal courtroom in Kansas on September 21st so uh, hopefully we'll have the ability to give some sort of an update after that uh, court hearing takes place absolutely um, to echo what Jared said I can tell you there's probably not a group out there fighting harder uh, for your rights, uh, your right to continue to do business, your your right to be able to work with qualified funds and what Market Synergy Group is doing. So on behalf of everybody on the call, Jared, thank you guys very much for what you're doing there. Uh, with that being said, uh, that does bring us uh, to the end of our presentation. Um, for those people that were interested in the rates, I will get those emailed out to you here today. Uh, if you haven't taken the time to click yes or no uh, on our polling question as to if you would like to receive licensing information on these products, uh, please do so now. Um, before we do sign off, Jared, I do want to thank you very, very much for your time. I know it's busy down there uh, at MSG right now with, with all the business you guys are getting, so we do appreciate you taking some time 45 minutes out of your busy day to join us and present to our group. So thank you very much, sir. Any parting words you'd like to give to the group? No, the one thing I'll add, Scott, is we've got an extremely competitive commission offering for you, the agent, for the remainder of 2016 and with the ability to earn as much as 8.5%. And I'll ask that you call IMS to get more details on that so everyone can get off of here. Uh, very competitive where we stand today as well as an incredibly competitive uh, trail option, which we're starting to see more and more of the advisors go that direction. So 
give us the opportunity. There's less than 3,000 agents out there in the field today selling our product. We would love to have the opportunity to show you where we could potentially fit into your business practice, and we think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thank you again very much, Jared, for, for your time and to all of you that took time out of your busy days to join us. Uh, we really do appreciate it. I know 45 minutes on a webinar with us is 45 minutes where you're not out there selling, so we do uh, really appreciate uh, really appreciate you all's time. Um, it, I will be calling each of you to follow up today and tomorrow, so if there are any questions that went unanswered or anything I can be doing to help, uh, please don't hesitate to ask when we speak. Go out and have a great sales day, everyone. Thank you very much for your time.